Hello and welcome to rykutkul.com. I am Deepak and today we have an exciting real life scenario in store for you. In this video, we will discuss why Power BI is a game changer for Jira reporting and analytics. Let's dive in. Let's understand Jira reporting limitations. Jira reporting is undoubtedly feature rich but for organizations seeking more capability, it might fall short. Power BI excels in data visualization, enabling you to gain deeper insight through a data-driven approach. It offers self-service, analytics, smart tools, and robust data production, giving you a competitive edge in the market. So here, we'll see eight templates available within Power BI connector for Jira, which will help us to generate interactive dashboards for each of the category so here if you can see i have already using one of the dashboards which is called as jira sprint dashboard this interactive dashboard is generated by using that template exactly in the similar way we can generate it for other as well so power bi connector for jira is helping us to build this type of dashboards without doing anything to use this here simply navigate it to this power bi connector for jira or explore more apps options search for power bi connector for jira now you will see here power bi connector for jira which is created by alpha so once you select this add-on you will see the detail about this add-on and trust me this add-on is cloud fortified which you can easily see from this icon as well as this add-on contains all the privacy and security compliance this is a part of the market plus bug bounty program as well so if you have any queries or questions you can directly reach out to the alphas or team where they will be able to help you relate it with this add-on if you have any thoughts um, opinions related to this you can always comment in the comment section after the installation let me start from the beginning where we can generate any dashboards using these templates and these templates will help us to generate interactive dashboards but before that we have to set it up some configurations and these configurations will help us in terms of authorizations so first we need to create a data source once we'll click on create data source we will see some of the name first we have to create the token which we will use it for authentication so for creating a token we'll use here access token and from here click on create i will just add power bi power bi for jira click on create and this will create successfully we will copy this token and paste it to any notepad now this token we will use it at the time of connecting power bi with jira now to navigate it to the template sections here you will see different templates are available total eight templates for jira is available here we have already seen jira sprint dashboards let's start with others like jira ideation issue created report to create a data source simply click on this and this will auto pop up the name you can specify the project from which projects you wanted to create it so here i will just select some of the itsm project yeah this one now after creating the data source we'll connect this with power bi for connecting this we'll launch power bi and here we'll click on file section and from file we will import the template which we have downloaded so i will select the latest itsm issue created templates click on open and within this it will ask me to enter data source data source will get it from here and will be same data 
source and after that it will take few seconds and ask me to enter the authentications as of now the authentication methods are available as anonymous windows however we'll go to basic one where we'll enter our email id or username of our jira instance and we'll add the password password will be our token code which we have created earlier we'll paste this and we'll select this help.com and can click on connect again this will take few seconds to generate the dashboards for my identification issues so here this will generate a very interactive dashboards on idsm which will have all those informations of my project or idsm services you can see here jira ideation issue created report similarly we can also add for other parameters so let me import for other like power bi templates for jira dashboards here again it will ask me to enter data source informations authentications will be not required because we have already authenticated so power bi will save this instance and authentications will be not needed whenever we are importing new templates so uh, for creating dashboards so data source will click on create and select the project based on this project it will generate a data source and we'll copy this so this is done once we'll navigate back to this sections we'll have the second let me generate for few others and after that we'll import it within our power bi to visualize the data or to generate interactive dashboards within power bi so for this it is done now let me do it for time report again for time report we'll have same projects click on create and download this we have this dashboards available now next i want jira sprint time report we can also generate for jira service management dashboards so here we'll again select it item project and after that we'll generate cumulative dashboards and finally release report why i am selecting this aware project because we have all those data or required data to be generated showcase the important thing if you want to report the detailed connections you can see it from here how you can connect it i will also include this url so that you can easily access this add-on now we have downloaded all those and let's connect with each one of the data source to that so let's try for community diagram so this time we'll try for community diagram we'll copy data source from here and paste it to this one now again it will take few seconds to generate this community diagram flow from jira now you can see community flow diagram is available here let me try for something as like service management jira service management let me copy the jira service management dashboards data source and paste it to here now you can see jira service management dashboard is also generated let's try importing other template like sprint time report from this time we'll copy this data source now we can see jira sprint right time report is generated with interactive detail like estimated time versus original estimates time report time report by assigning and sprint and all those informations are here let's try with next one so here we have work on sprint time report and next one is jira time work report so again this time jira time work report we'll copy this and paste it to this data source informations and again it will take few seconds to generate this report 
this is how we can generate n number of reports uh, using the, these templates. As of now, Alpha 13 has built eight templates which we can use it to generate the informations. As of now, we don't have much data in Sprint mock report, but if you have the data that will show interactive report. So we have covered all eight templates which is available in and based on that we can generate any number of report within power bi now in conclusion while jira reporting has its strength organizing looking for enhanced reporting and analytics capabilities can benefit significantly from power bi connector for jira we would love to hear from you if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials or queries related to this topic please leave them in the comment sections below and don't forget to like subscribe and share within your circle if you found this video helpful thank you for joining us today until next time exploring keep coding and keep visualizing thank you